What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to focus on one of the more important things to get during the Festival of the Lost, and that is the Cypher Decoder. Now, the reason why this consumable is really important is you need to have Cypher Decoders in order to open up encrypted caches at the end of the Haunted Forest. So we're gonna delve into the best ways of getting these, the fastest ways of getting them. And if you find this video helpful, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. So the Cypher Decoder is used to open up encrypted caches. Now, the reason why that's important is if you wanna get some of the cooler things from Evil Levante, Next. namely the ghost shell, the sparrow, and the ship, you need to not only get candy, but you also have to get done different triumphs. So we'll take a look at the triumphs for the Restless Shell, the Tomb Rider, and the Rap Speed. So let's take a look at these triumphs, and then you'll see why getting decoders is really important. So if you open up the Seasonal tab and we take a look at Festival, you'll notice that for the Cash Grab, the Cash Cow, and Cash's Galore, you have to open up 15, 30, and 45 caches respectively. So if you want to get those three cool exotics, you have to open up 45 encrypted caches in the Haunted Forest. Ergo, you need 45 Cypher Decoders. Now, Cypher Decoders, if you recall from the very beginning of this seasonal event, you can get them from Playlist Strikes, from Crucible Matches, and from Gambit Matches. Now, the reason why I say Playlist Strikes is you can just load into Lake of Shadows, for instance, run that over and over again, and get Cypher Decoders. It will give you Chocolate Strange Coins, but it will not give you Cypher Decoders. It has to be from a Playlist Strike. Just as important, these are not a guaranteed drop, and it's one of my pet peeves here with this event. I feel as though that completing any Crucible match or any Gambit game, etc., should be a guaranteed drop. As it stands right now, they're not guaranteed. It seems to be roughly a 33 to 50% chance of getting one after you get done one of those three things, a Playlist Strike, Crucible, or Gambit match. So keep that in mind. Because it's not guaranteed, you really want to make sure that you prioritize two things. Speed, so getting things done as fast as you can, but also, too, maximizing your return on your time investment. Because this is ultimately going to be what governs how fast you get these Cypher Decoders, is those two things. You can see here that if you look at the materials, there's a number of things you can get. There is the Reprised Horror Story and Braytech Werewolf. Both of these seem to have some random perks now you can get, which is pretty cool. So you want to get as many of these as you can in order to open up those encrypted caches. Now, this is going to vary week by week because, like I said, a lot of it has to do with getting things done quickly. So if we take a look here at Vanguard, for instance, if we take a look at Vanguard and we look at our playlist strikes, right now, it's not necessarily the best time to do these because you don't have heavyweight. If heavyweight were a modifier, if you're watching this video and heavyweight happens to be a modifier, then maybe it might be worthwhile to jump in with your fire team and speed through Vanguard strikes. Back out if it's one like Corrupted or the Festering Core, those are slower strikes or they're longer strikes. But if it's a fast strike, you can jump on with your fire team and you can quickly get these done. Yes, it's not guaranteed. You may get through a strike and not get one of these, which would be a bummer. But if it's a modifier that's like Heavyweight, then you can go through strikes a bit faster. You can get some bounties done while you're in there. Maybe use some Vanguard Boons. Get a lot of stuff for your return on your investment. This first week of festival, I think the best way, even though it may not be the fastest way, the best way is going to be doing the Nightfall of the Ordeal. And I would recommend doing either the 750 if you want a really leisurely activity, but I would also recommend the 1020. The reason for that is twofold. Number one, it's still match made, so you can jump in here if you're a solo player, and this is important. You can jump in as a solo player and get this done. You have a chance of getting exotic gear, enhancement cores, and enhancement prisms. So even though that's, that's a pretty rare drop, you still have a chance of getting prisms. And right now, this first week of festival, the Nightfall of the Ordeal gives you double drops. So you're going to get a lot of stuff from doing this strike. You still have a chance of getting the, the Cypher Decoder. And while you may not get one every run, you're going to get other loot to offset that. So it might not be the fastest way of getting Cypher Decoders overall. But I think for the first week here, this is what I would recommend in terms of maximizing your utility. You're going to get decoders, you're going to get other loot, and it's going to be your best bet. Next week, you may have some other activities that are available. Whenever Mayhem clashes around, I think that's going to be the absolute best way of going in order to get decoders as fast as you can. 
Mayhem Clash games are really quick. And whenever that playlist strikes around, or whenever that playlist around is for, for PvP, I'll make a follow-up to this. But I'd recommend for Cypher Decoder Farm Week 1, jump into the Nightfall of the Ordeal. Utilize that as best you can. Do the 1020, so you still have a chance for Prisms. If you're with a fire team, you obviously you can do the 1050 or 1080 if you want. But I think for most players, solo players especially, the 1020 is going to be your best bet. If it's a modifier like Heavyweight, then you can look at the Vanguard Strikes. Do it with a fire team. I wouldn't recommend backing out and leaving people by themselves. But if you're with a fire team and it's a strike like Corrupted, you don't want to waste your time doing a longer strike. You might as well back out and find a shorter strike. That's going to be a way to go, but only when it's a modifier like Heavyweight. I think that's going to be your best bet. Gambit, I can't really recommend unless you're doing other activities. But Gambit, I can't recommend because those games take too long. And I really can't recommend the control game mode or supremacy right now for Crucible just because those take a long time as it were. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe. I appreciate it big time. Let me know how you're enjoying Festival. I think it's really cool this year. I love the way the tower looks, and I hope that there's some new stuff here that we have waiting in the wings for us. But thanks so much for watching. We'll catch up soon, and I'll see you guys later. See you.